Okay, welcome everybody to another video and we're actually lucky enough to be riding the Mutt <laughs> Mongol 250 motorcycle. So this is probably one of the most popular videos we've ever had on the channel. Um, so many people are interested in the Mutt as a little run around by, people who are new to motorcycling and um, those people that are also getting back into biking as well are really interested in it. We're actually riding my dad's Mutt Mongol 250. So he's very kindly lent us this bike so I can go out and give it a test ride. So the Mutt is a custom motorcycle that's made in Birmingham. Let's drop down through the gears. Nobody's coming. There we go. Get my foot under, change up. Yeah, it's made it's made all customized in Birmingham. And um, it's a retro looking bike. So you've got wide bars and you've got um, the kind of blacked out look, a sort of large two person seat. Lots of little details to the bike as well. Um, big wide mirrors. Uh, you've also got the shock uh, covers on the on the front suspension. It has got the spoke wheels as well, and it's got disc brakes uh, front and back. So it does have some some modern uh, touches. So I'm in second gear, and I'm just going to open the throttle a little bit. <laughs> Gosh, it's great fun to be fair. The, um, the bike has 21 horsepower and it's a 250cc single. So you've got that fud, fud, fud single cylinder noise, which is, which is actually quite nice. I'm getting also a lot of vibration through the saddle, um, which I don't get on, on some of the other bikes I ride. I'm gonna go up a gear again into third. So if I look in front of me, I've got a very wide uh, grip on the bars. I've got this nice little customised dial that says Mutt on it and um, ooh, over a bump there and I can see the big single head lamp is starting to uh, become noticeable. So if I push this bike through the bend, it does feel actually quite nimble. The bike itself weighs 115 kg and um, let me drop down so I can get a bit more acceleration. Yeah, there you go. Look at this, riding through Wales on a mud mongrel. Really great fun. So that's proper wide open. And um, we can see we're crawling up to 70 miles an hour. And this bike will top out about 80. It's going to top, top gear. So I'm going to keep going for a bit. And I'm going to pull in here. Drop down. and I'll find somewhere to stop so we can review this bike. There you go, look at this. <laughs> Wonderful. So, let's cancel the indicator, put the kickstand down. If I can reach it, quite a stiff kickstand. So, let's have a look at it. So yeah, this is my dad's bike. It's a little bit dirty at the moment because he uses it in all weathers. Um, yeah, so he uses it every day to ride to work and he wanted to get back into biking after a bit of a hiatus. So you can see here you've got the single cylinder um, and you've got this customised engine cover there. It says M motorcycles so it's uh, in engraved into the cover which is a really nice touch. Um, yeah, as we said we've got the spoked wheels. Um, Disc brakes front and rear, so it stops well. And as you go up the bike, you've got this uh, matte black tank, and on the Mongo at least, you've got this brown leather um, two-person seat, which is quite a nice touch. Obviously, it's a new bike, so it has to comply with the Euro 5 regs. And so you've got this tail tidy, which extends further than the re rear tire. So my dad actually made an addition to this bike where he's put a, a, a backrest on there. So when he carries a pillion, 
then it, my mum feels a little bit more safe and secure on the back of the bike. But yeah, I mean, that's the mutt. So looking round at the bike, she's a nice looking thing. You get a lot of looks, a lot of attention on this machine. And um, there's a sheep coughing behind me. You okay, mister? <laughs> yeah, you get a lot of looks, a lot of attention. You get a lot of nods from other retro riders. Okay, so let's get back on the bike. Very easy to get onto, actually. So if I slip my leg over, nice and easy to get onto. There we go. How do you get that? How do you get that up? Oh, okay. So there's the fuel tank. ABS lights on. Turning circle is quite nice on this bike. So you see, I just reversed a little. And we go. Okay, I'm, I'm getting quite used to how full the foot pegs are. So riding sports bikes, I keep putting my feet back here uh, to try and reach. Indicators are nice and easy to use. And there's nobody about today, so it's a lovely day to be riding. Cancel the indicator, nice chunky controls. Off the bike goes, off the gear. Getting okay, a nice vibration from the uh, 250cc single. Up a gear again. Very comfortable riding position. Um, and as I get to know the bike a little bit more, you could throw it around a little bit. Not obviously like you're riding a sports bike, but if I come to this, this little bendy section here, just uh, build up some speed. Yeah, you're going to have good fun on this little thing. Around the bend here, watch this. <laughs> oh, great fun. Great fun. Brakes are a little bit soft. Try the rear brake. Yeah, you'd have to apply both brakes in a hurry if you wanted to uh, slow down fast. So the bike will do about 85 miles per gallon, um, so it'll go a long way. It's about seven pounds to fill the tank up, my dad said, so that must be about a 10 litre tank or something like that along those lines. Um, so you're not going to go very fast, um, but it will get you places, you know. Wonderful little thing, actually. Hard on the brake. I've missed that one. See, I was trying to slow down for that turning there, and I missed my opportunity because the front brake just doesn't have that quite that bite. So what I'll do is I'll find out what the uh, go down for the gears, and then I'll turn around in here. You see, the turning circle is nice. Clutch is quite high, so I have to let the lever almost fully out. Oh. So we've just noticed something there, that the lever has just popped off the, uh, the dial. Um, which is obviously a bit of a quality issue. to return back and see if we can repair that. Look at this beautiful day to be out riding a, uh, a retro single cylinder bike. Lovely stuff. So as I mentioned, the Mutt video was, was one of the most popular videos on the channel. And it, to be honest, it wasn't even really a review. It, it, it was just us messing about on the bikes and I took some footage that, that happened to go up. So um, it just shows how popular these bikes are really. Slow down to what I think is 40 miles an hour. 
So my dad mentioned a problem with the mutt in the fact that it's been a little bit unreliable. And it had a problem where it would cut out and not start again. And uh, that problem has been resolved, um, but not by the garage actually where he bought, bought it. Obviously it's a new machine, so he took it back under warranty. But he actually had to solve the problem himself. And we'll, we'll go into that in another video. Where we'll talk about the reliability of the mutt because it's actually not as reliable as you would expect. Maybe we were just a bit unlucky, but you can just see the uh, needles just falling off the fuel gauge. Uh, sorry, the rev. Oh, it doesn't have a rev. Can't. It does it, the uh, speedometer. Yeah, the uh, needles just falling off the speedometer. So, how are we doing on the fuel? Oh, the indicators are still on, so it's hard to see that. So that's another thing, it's hard to see if you're, when your indicators are still on or if your fuel is running out because the, the little icons that light up are actually hidden by the rim of the speedo. Mirrors are okay, I mean obviously I haven't adjusted these but I'm pretty similar size to my dad and you can see a fair bit out of them, probably the same as my sports bike though which is not really saying a lot, I suppose those could be adjusted for better viewing. I don't know how fast I'm going through this speedo, so I'll have to go super slow. So, you can hear quite a pleasing sound from the engine. Gentle hum. So how does the mutt do in traffic? So again, yeah, you see, I have to let the clutch almost fully out before it engages. So that's something to be aware of if you are test riding one of these things. You've got kind of a lot of flexibility with your seating position. You can ride this thing further back if you want. So that compensates for if you've got longer or shorter legs, but it is very comfortable. See if we can demonstrate some slow speed control. And yeah, I mean, the it's very easy to manoeuvre. This thing only weighs 115 kilograms, so let's go up to second over the bridge, indicate, I mean it is hard to see if you're indicating. Okay so I've just filled the bike with fuel, a little bit fiddly to get the uh, fuel cap off, actually easy to get off, just difficult to put back on, so you've got to actually push the thing back into place so it clicks. Um, before you get this thing back on. So anyway, it's secure now. I remembered not to overfill the fuel tank. And um, now we're going to roll this bike back home to my dad. So yeah, when we come to talk about the performance of the mud, you've got this 250cc single cylinder putting out 21 brake horsepower and it'll do 80 miles an hour flat out, so the fastest you can go on this bike is 80 and uh, it'll do, in terms of miles per gallon, fuel consumption, it'll do 85 miles per gallon and I know that was one of the questions people kept asking about the mud so um, yeah, I mean the fit and the finish seems good obviously we've got a few quality issues like this uh, speedometer just popped off uh, which we'll have to try and go and uh, repair but when you consider the, the bike itself costs £3,700 for a brand new motorcycle, um, it's fairly good, fairly good value, isn't it? I mean, you can get a lot for your money. Yeah, that second gear pull is not too bad, you know. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to end the video there. If you like the content, please do subscribe and we'll try and get some more motorcycle reviews out now that the weather's getting nicer. If you want to um, write a comment, maybe you're interested in buying the mutt, maybe you've um, bought a mutt yourself, um, then please do write below and also like the video as well because that helps us with the mysterious YouTube algorithm. But until next time guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.